Welcome to Ferris Theatre Arts Saxon Showcase. I'm Mary Cooper. I'm the Director of Theatre Arts at Ferris High School in Spokane, Washington, and we are proud members of the International Thespian Society, Troop 1506. But before we begin, click below to like and subscribe our video. Also, please support the arts in our schools. Due to the coronavirus shutdown of our schools, Ferris Theatre Arts has not been able to sell tickets and advertisements to support the program. Your generous donation will allow our theater to remain viable and provide the funds necessary to continue productions and events when school reopens. Thank you so much for your kind and generous contribution to the arts in our schools. Click on the link below in the description to go to the Ferris Theater Arts webpage and you'll find the donate button at the bottom of the first page. Thank you so much. Our world back in March of last year was entirely upended and life came to a screeching halt. Schools were closed, businesses were closed, theaters went dark, and not being able to be together in person, physically, has taken a toll on all of us. Especially for those of us who love the theater, that thrive on the community it creates, and the vital creative outlet it provides. Ferris Theater students are used to a year full of musical theater, plays, improv, community theater, student-directed one-acts, and festivals and competitions. But with every challenge comes new opportunities. And we're not gonna let these challenges keep us from creating theater. So we asked our students, in theater, who are you? Well, the students rallied, and this was their answer. On behalf of assistant director Belinda Guerin, vocal director Margot Dries, and myself, it is my absolute pleasure to present to you the first ever virtual musical theater showcase. Enjoy. I think the most difficult thing for me about the school year as a Running Start student has just been the lack of direction and information that I get from my professors with all being online. And the lack of community, I miss being around people and the support that that brought and just how much easier it makes getting through the day when you're surrounded by your classmates. To be able to do this theater uh, project has been really awesome. It's a way to express yourself and it's about the only thing in school right now that isn't shut down, which has been really fun. I've studied all the pictures in magazines and books. I've memorized the subway map too. It's one block north to Macy's and two to Brothers Brooks. Manhattan, I've prepared for you. You certainly are different from what they have back home, where nothing's over three stories high. And no one's in a hurry or wants to roam But I do, though they wonder why They said I would soon be good and lonely Said I would sing the homesick blues So I've always had this ticket in my pocket A ticket home in my pocket To do with as I choose Burn the bridge, bet the storm, baby's coming home no more. Not for the life of me. Break the lock, post my bail, done my time, I'm out of jail. Not for the life of me. A life that's gotta be more than a one light town where the light is always red. Gotta be more than an old ghost town where the ghosts ain't even dead. Clap your hands just because don't you know that where I am ain't where I was. Not for the life of me. See, I've gotta be more than a country wife making babies till I croak. Gotta be more than a leading role in a father's daughter's joke days of your kind and gentle ask me if i'm sentimental not for the life of me Beodio. not for the life of not for the life of not for the life of me Hi, 
I'm Kendra Lund, I'm a senior, and for me to be able to do theater right now, it's like something to be excited about because it seems like there's so much canceled that there's not a whole lot to look forward to and this project was something that was really exciting for me. I still connect with others over Zoom and FaceTime and to entertain myself I still sing a bunch and I have to spend a lot of time getting ready for um, college stuff and I'm planning on being a vocal performance major so I'm really excited to see where that'll take me in the next couple of years and I just love this project. I think it was a great idea and not a lot of schools are doing something like this so I just think it was really really special and I'm grateful that I got to be a part of it. devoted sisters never had to have a chaperone no sir i'm here to keep my eye on her caring sharing every little thing that we are wearing when a certain gentleman arrived from rome she wore the dress and i stayed home all kinds of weather we stick together the same in the rain or sun two different faces but in tight places we think and we act as one mm -hmm. those who've seen us know that not a thing can come between us many men have tried to split us up but no one can Lord, help the mister who comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my man. We think and we act as one mm -hmm. Those who've seen us Know that not a thing can come between us Many men have tried to split us up But no one can Lord, help the mister Who comes between me and my sister And Lord, help the sister who comes between me and my man. I think the most difficult thing about being in virtual school this year has definitely been just the feeling of disconnect from teachers as well as other students and just feeling kind of isolated, um, you know, alone. I'm really glad that we still have the opportunity to do theater um, in this new kind of very different way um, because I think theater is just, it's a great way to connect with people and um, build relationships between, between other people, whether you're, you know, on the stage or whether you're just in the audience. I really love this project. Um, I think it's a great way for us to express ourselves and kind of show the warrior within us, I guess. And um, to me personally, I think being a warrior really means just never giving up hope, never um, backing down because of any challenge, just taking it head on. Just a Broadway baby 
walking off my tired feet Pounding 42nd Street to be in a show Broadway baby Learning how to sing and dance Waiting for that one big chance to be in a show I'd like to be on some marquee, all twinkling lights, a spark to pierce the dark from Battery Park to Washington Heights. Someday, maybe, all my dreams will be repaid. Heck, I'd even play the maid to be in a show. Mr. Producer, I'm talking to you, sir. I don't need a lot, only what I got. Plus a tube of grease pen and a photo spot. I'm just a Broadway baby, slaving at the five and ten, waiting for that one big chance to be in a show. Broadway baby Making rounds all afternoon Eating at a greasy spoon To save on my dough oh, At my tiny flat There's just my cat A bed and a chair Still, I'll stick it till I'm on a bill all over Times Square Someday maybe If I stick it long enough I can get to strut my stuff Working for a nice man like a Zeke Or a wise man in a big time the hardest part of online school for me personally is missing out on the social aspect of it because I'm a very social person. This whole project has been so fun sometimes. <laughs> it's really hard, especially with like music and acting, it's really hard to find time to practice and grow those skills and having something to practice for has been very nice. I think that everybody who is going through this pandemic right now is a warrior, 100%, because this is just such a crazy time in our world. We are all in this together, like all those commercials say, so yeah. There it goes again. The moment's gone and I'm too lame to speak Another wasted opportunity Always waiting for something to happen But nothing's gonna happen Not for me Buddy I'm always buddy I'm a girl for your information, forever in this situation, waiting and hoping he'll notice how I'm feeling. But every time I get him near, I fade away, I disappear. That's me, never getting heard. He just smiles and walks away, like I never said a word. Oh, can anybody hear me? My just blowing air while the whole world marches past. Still I go and blow, though I know it gets me nowhere, I just get lost, lost in the brass. Flutes don't sparkle quite like batons. There's no visual attraction, no stimulus reaction. Pretty music, <laughs> that's all the pretty that I got. 
I'm special in a quiet way. At least that's what my parents say. Whatever. They were never in the band. Their hair is turning gray. No, they don't understand. Oh, can anybody hear me? I just know I know I could sparkle on the grass. But my melody could never be heard clearly. I just get lost, lost. Lost in the brass, I get so lost, lost in the brass. Listen, I'm not background noise. Listen, I make music. See me, I'm not one of the boys. I shine, I shine, I shine. So I don't wear makeup, I don't stick my hair up with some awesome-tastic pink barrette. No, I'll never be a majorette. I'm plain, I'm basic, and I sweat when I get nervous. I suck at popularity. People just don't notice me someday. High school's got to end, and I'll finally find a place where this woodwind doesn't blend. Oh! the whole world to be pursuing if I could just get out and leave this all here in the past now they'll remember me thinking gosh how is she doing but I'll be long gone oh I'll be solo abrogado cutting loud and clear right through the tuba blast soaring high above that clumsy bass vibrato I won't be lost 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 in the brass and finally they'll see there's so much more to me at last i won't be lost lost in the brass lost in the brass the brass i think the most hard part of online school has been not getting to be around our peers and our friends because I think a lot of what made school bearable is that we got to do it with the people we loved in our community. It's so important that we can do theater because for a lot of people, it's a really important way to um, express ourselves and have an outlet. It means that things aren't so bad either. Like, yes, there's a pandemic, yes, school is online, but the thing we love to do is still here and it's still going. Keeping focused on like goals and not letting all the craziness that happened in the past year phase me has been really helpful and I know that there's better times to come and this isn't forever. Focusing on the good things that have been happening has been really important in helping me stay positive. My dear sweet child, it's what I do, so what I live for. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch But you'll find that nowadays I've mended all my ways Repented, seen the light and made a switch True, yes And I fortunately know a little magic It's a talent that I always have possessed Now, dear lady, please don't laugh I use it on behalf of the miserable, the lonely and depressed Pathetic for unfortunate souls In pain, in need This one longing to be thinner That one wants to get the girl And do I help them? Yes, indeed Those poor unfortunate souls So sad, so true They come flocking to my cauldron Crying spells, Ursula, please And I help them Yes, I do now it's happened once or twice, someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to write them cross the cards. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. Here's my best offer, babykins. I've got a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Now it's got its procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. By the end of the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. If you do, you'll be a human forever. If you don't, nothing drastic, I'm sure. Oh, look, small print. 
You're doomed to spend eternity in my watery hell, so Claire and your soul will be mine forever. Lawyers, don't you love them? Of course, there is one more thing, my fee. I'm not asking for much, dear. Hmm, let's see, only... Your voice? Oh, I know what you're thinking. If you don't have your voice, how will you ever get him to fall in love with you? But my dear, you'll have your looks, your pretty face, and don't underestimate the power of body language. The men up there don't like a lot of chatter. They think a girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for women not to say a word. And after all, dear, what is idle chatter for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they don't and swoon and fawn on a lady who's withdrawn. It's she who holds her tongue who forgets the man. Come on, you poor unfortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. So sad, so true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath. Go ahead and sign the scroll. Float some jets and now we got our boys. The boss is on a For me, the hardest part about doing virtual school has been the lack of the arts. I've always been really heavily involved in the music program at Ferris. I've been in choir, band, and orchestra, and I also do the musical every year. So it's been hard to not be able to do those things in the same capacity. The most difficult part of online school for me has been finding the motivation to continue pushing myself, even when it's not what I want to be doing. Um, to do theater is to be able to express myself and to channel my emotions into an art and to share that with others. I think one thing I really love about theater and musical theater specifically is that it kind of combines everything I love. I love the singing and the acting and then being able to work on something for a long time that's hard and then put out a product for people that they can watch and enjoy. We can still have a really cool product even with everything that's going on and that we can still have fun making something. I am a fighter. I have never given up easily in my life. I always push myself and my peers to do the best that we can on whatever we're doing because I don't want to settle for less than I know I'm capable of. My dearest, darlingest Momsy and Popsicle. My dear father. There's been some confusion over roaming your ashes. But of course I'll care for NASA. But of course I'll rise above it. For I know that's how you'd want me to respond. Yes. There's been some confusion for you see my roommate is. Unusually and exceedingly peculiar. And altogether quite impossible to describe. Blonde. What is this feeling so sudden and new? I felt the moment I laid eyes on you. My pulse is rushing. My head is reeling. My face is flushing. What is this feeling? Turbid as a flame. Does it have a name? Death. Loathing. Unadulterated loathing. For your face, your voice, loathing. Let's just say, I love it all. Every little trait, however small, makes my very flesh begin to crawl. The simple, utter loathing bears a strange exhilaration in such total detestation.
I'd like to swim in a clear blue stream where the water is icy cold. Then go to town in a golden gown and have my fortune told. Just once, just once, just once before I'm old, I'd like to be not evil, but a little worldly wise. To be the kind of girl designed to be kissed upon the eyes. I'd like to dance till two o'clock or sometimes dance till dawn. Or if the band could stand it, just go on and on and on. Just once, just once, before the chance is gone. I'd like to waste a week or two and never do a chore to wear my hair unfastened so it billows to the floor to do the things i've dreamed about but never done before perhaps i'm bad or wild or mad with lots of grief in So the most difficult thing about doing school during a big pandemic like this uh, is just not getting to interact with the material. It really means a lot to be able to do theater during this time because while well, there's almost nothing in the world that's normal right now, theater kind of provides that sense of normalcy. For me, the most difficult thing about virtual school has been um, not being able to really make those uh, connections and relationships with my peers and my teachers like I was able to last year. Uh, it really meant a lot to um, just walk down the hall and just smile and wave at people you know. Uh, it's, I don't know, it, it's really important to me. And, and I think it makes uh, being able to do theater this year even cooler because I can see, you know, new people and see them kind of outside of school. Sure, it's not a musical. It's not exactly what I would have wanted to do this year, but it it's something and it's something great. Like, I'm really excited about this. Getting the chance to sing even virtually and not in person, just getting the chance to have something to look forward to and knowing that we've got a big project that we're all working on together. That's just always so nice to know that you're working on something really big with a big group of people who you like and you care about. Well, I think a warrior is anyone who um, perseveres, you know, in the face of hardship and adversity. I think being a warrior means you are you know what you want and you're able to stand up for who you are and be proud of that. Valjean at last, we see each other plain. Monsieur le maire, you'll wear a different chain. Before you say another word, Javert, before you chain me up like a slave again, listen to me, there's something I must do. This woman leaves behind a suffering child. There is none but me who can intercede. In mercy's name, three days are all I need. Then I'll return, I pledge my word. Then I'll return. You must think me mad. I've hunted you across the years. Men like you can never change a man. Such a fool. What you will, Men there like is a duty that I want you to do. No, you know nothing to of my so All I did was steal some My bread. duties to you the law. Nothing you have no world. rights. 
come with me to now I see me dead, but not before I see this justice done. I am warning you, Javert, I'm the stronger man by far. There is power in me, yet my race is not yet mine. I am warning you, Javert. And this I swear to you tonight There is no place for you to hide Your child will live within my For the next showcase number, Kendra is performing in a costume designed and constructed by stagecraft student Van Cooper for entry into the Washington State Thespies individual events this winter. High school students from all over the country compete each winter in these individual, duo, and small group performance and technical events. High scores give students the opportunity to continue to state and national festivals. This is just a part of the costume you will see senior Kendra Lund wearing as Christine Daae in Think of Me from Phantom of the Opera. Think of me, think of me fondly when we've said goodbye. Remember me Every so often, promise me you'll try On that day, that not so distant day When you are far away and free If you ever find a moment Spare a thought for me Though it's clear, though it was always clear That this was never meant to be If you happen to remember Stop and think of me Think of August when the trees were green Don't think about Imagine me trying too hard to keep you from my mind. Think of me, please say you'll think of me. Whatever else you choose to do, there will never be.
I would say the hardest part about being virtual is not being able to fully experience everything Paris has to offer. It's an amazing school and I was really excited to go and I'm still happy that I've gone, but you know, not being able to walk the hallways and experience the campus and just go to class is it's hard. Theater is how I connect to people. It's something that I'm passionate about and so it, it helps me feel grounded. One of the most difficult things uh, for me um, being in virtual school is just not having that teacher-student uh, relationship. I feel that so many students are holding things back like holding questions and answers and maybe even like personal things but I really love how we turned this theater class into like a family kind of sort of like we're all like in the same situation we're all having a hard time but yet we're still going through it together and i think that's the best way to get through any problem is to do it together you know and the hardest thing for me has been trying to engage in class it's harder when we're not face to face and it's more of a instructions and go type of thing theater is a way for me to express who i am and to have a lot of fun with a lot of people. And what does it mean to be a warrior? Who are you? Ooh, that's deep. Um, I am Ken Love, the warrior. My greatest fighting technique is making friend with the enemy. To me, being a warrior means you don't give up, you don't give in, you keep moving forward. a stranger to the dark hide away they say cause we don't want your broken parts i've learned to be ashamed of all my scars run away they say no one will love you as you are but i won't let them break me down to dust i know that there's a place for us for we are glorious the sharpest words wanna cut me down Gonna send a flag, gonna drown them out I am brave, I am bruised, I am who I'm meant to be This is me Look out, cause here I come And I'm marching on to the beat I drum I'm not scared to be seen I make no apologies this is me. Thank you 
so much for watching our first ever virtual Saxon Musical Showcase. I am so proud of the kids and all their hard work, especially in these difficult circumstances. And a huge thank you to the owner of Spokane's Globe Bar and Kitchen and my brother, Scott Wilburn, for funding this program and for providing all the video and audio raw materials and being such a wonderfully supportive person of the arts and of theater here in Spokane. Also, a huge thank you to Jason Michael Snow, a Ferris Theater alum, who provided support, rehearsal help, and all kinds of encouragement. And finally, thank you to Daniel and Will at Shutter Production Services for putting this production together and making us look great. Stay warm, stay healthy, and I can't wait until we're all together and we could do this in person. Have a great night.